I know what you're thinking. That's a silly tube lamp filled with cobwebs inside it. If you look actually closer, let me help you here. Those are leaf skeletons. My name is Nicholas and I'm Jason and this is our leaf skeleton project Okay, so here's how we go we're going to make the leaf. We're going to need 575 milliliters of water Because I'm taking the chemical approach for this we're going to need 80 grams of sodium hydroxide You can find these things in drain openers Well, obviously you're going to need a leaf. I highly recommend it, soursop leaves. Pour the water into the pan. Make sure the pan is sacrificial though, because once you use it, you're not gonna be able to use it anymore. Now just put the leaf inside the water in the pan. Wait until it's boiled, and then turn down the fire. Get your drain cleaner ready and just pour all of those 80 grams in and stand back. That exothermic reaction is dangerous for your skin since sodium hydroxide is an irritant. Let the leaf sit in there for about 30 minutes. Here's the 15 minute update. It should look about like this. Well, let's wait another 15 minutes. Let's use this for something really useful. Well, while waiting for me, why don't hit that like button? It really, really affects my score at school, so please help. Thank you. Well, in 30 minutes, it should look like this. The water is black and you can't see the leaf from the surface. After that, wash the leaf with water and then just simply brush it. As you can see, the outer skin will just come right off and the skeleton is just that. You can see it. You can use either a toothbrush or a brush for drawing, I guess. That's what you call them, right? I don't know what to call them. Rip English, sorry. You better do the steps slowly. Because I failed a lot in this step. Be careful. Look at that, isn't that satisfying to watch? Well, this step is actually optional. But I prepared some calcium hypochlorite to wash the color out of the leaf. What, why is this process optional? Because I only did this because I want to paint the leaf later. If you whiten the leaf first, it will make it easier and the color pops even more. Now, just let the leaf dry. It's gonna take a while though. Now, let's start the process of making the decorative lamp. Well, since we're making a lamp, the bulb itself 
is actually necessary and also the switch and the wall plug. You're going to need a clear plastic sheet. It can be in any color, I choose yellow. Tape the plastic sheet into the bulb using a double-sided tape. Oh yeah, when doing this process, make sure the start and the end is actually at the back of the bulb. You can see the back and the front while it's completely plugged in. Secure it. Well, get creative in this project. You can use any kinds of decoration you'd like. For me, I actually printed out these batik patterns. Here is why the calcium hypochlorite is important for me, since I'm painting this leaf, so I have to make it white first so the color pops. To stick the leaf to the actual lamp itself, follow the video. I'm actually using small double-sided tapes, I mean like really really small, and I only stick like the edge of the leaves. Simply repeat the process as many times as you want. Well, this is how mine end up looking. Feel free to be creative, it's a completely free choice. Well, and that's pretty much it. Easy, right? Well, if you're like me, I like to add more stuff into what I make. So, since I have some spare leaves and a lot of junk in my house, so why not create some more decorations? Recycle, right? Well, while waiting for the paint to dry, I'm actually cutting off some clear plastic sheets to cover around the lamp once more because you can't have too much protection. And this is the decoration that I made. It's simple, plastic, just for the top. I also use double sided tape to seal and lock the decoration in place. Well, believe it or not, it's all the steps completed. Just plug it into a wall and let it shine.
Thank you.